Hello and welcome everyone to the Grizzify channel. My name is Andres and today we are speaking about the GLL and I've been talking about it a bunch of times but in this video I want to go in more detail and also compare it to some other similar pools for example the GLP of GMX. So first of all let's go to Grizzly Trade and as you can see in the beginning or on the on the dashboard page you have your uh, GLL investment here we, you can basically go here to earn and you will see okay the GLL consists of BNB T stands for testnet because it's on the testnet um, Ethereum Bitcoin USDC and USDT that's how the GLL is built up as you can see here um, the weight and target is super important um, the GLL always tries to stay at a fixed uh, ratio so for example in when it's live uh, it tries to be at 25% Bitcoin 25% Ethereum 5% BNB 25% USDT and 20% USDC now if there is for example more BTC in there and you want to deposit more BTC you pay a small fee and that way um, there is incentive to maybe swap into another asset and then deposit that one instead of um, depositing an asset that already is over allocated in the ratio. Um, in general, what's super important about this feature is the utilization. This number always needs to be high, right? It shouldn't be too high because this means that um, no more people can leverage, but it should always be between 20 and 40, maybe 45, 60%. This means that they are the usage is optimal, right? That there is enough assets so that they are used, but there is not too much volume for the assets that are in there, right? So this is super important to keep an eye on. Uh, what's also very important is the question about, okay, if I invest BTC, um, will I only be able to take BTC out? And the answer is no. So you, any asset that you deposit into the GLL will be converted into GLL tokens. So the GLL token is like an LP token, you can't trade it, you can't um, speculate on it, that's not possible. So you trade basically your BTC against GLL. When you want to convert your GLL back into any asset, um, you can just do so. So you don't need to convert it back to ETH or convert, convert it back to BTC, you can do it as you wish. You can put in BTC and take out ETH, that's absolutely no problem. What's also very important to know is that the GLL like LP tokens needs to be staked in order to start earning BNB. So you stake the GLL and this is done automatically, you don't need to do anything there, but you stake the BNB or you, you stake the GLL and from that point on you can claim BNBs here, uh, here in the top. And very important, rewards are always paid out once per week. So once per week all the fees generated by Grizzly Trade are converted back into BNB and paid out to the GLL holders. The other part is used to buy back and burn G honey, and the other part is used to go into the treasury. So yeah, in general, it's a pretty easy concept if you understand it. The GLL is like an index of assets. So if you are invested in the GLL um, and let's say Bitcoin goes up and all other assets stay the same, you don't make as much also in the other direction you don't lose too much so it's a diversified way of investing in these assets that are inside of the GLL and also it's 50% stable or 45% stable coins which makes it super super cool especially for the current market so let's compare it to the biggest competitor and that is GMX and the the GLL of GMX is called GLP and here you can find the GLP. There are currently $514 million inside of the GLP. Uh, really, really crazy. It pays a current APR of 15%. So it's pretty good. It's not too crazy, but it's a pretty good uh, amount of yield that you can earn, especially when you consider that you are claiming ETH. So you can earn real ETH tokens and not just some minted token, um, which is very, very nice. Um, what, what's super interesting about uh, GMX, they have great analytics, so let's have a look at those very quickly. You can see that their trading volume, you see how their trading volume is going, um, so they constantly printing 
uh, new good numbers. So they are very, very popular. They had $114 billion in volume so far. They accrued $180 million in fees um, and they have $123 million in open interest. Open interest means how many trades are currently open or the volume of trades that is currently open. You see here the fees. You see here where the fees are coming from here. One big position was, was liquidated, unfortunately. But in general, you see most fees are coming from margin trading, which makes sense because that's uh, what G uh, GMX is here for, right? Um, you see the pool composition. Um, you see that most assets, most money is in USDC, uh, then followed by ETH and followed by BTC. You see here the price, and this is very important because the GLP and also the GLL, they will go up and down in price depending on what the market is doing. So let's say 25% is in Bitcoin, 25% in, in ETH. Um, if those assets go up, right, the underlying, the underlying assets go up, GLL or also in this case GLP is also going up. Also in the other direction, if the market is going down, GLL and GLP also go down. But what's very important is that you compare this number with something else. So let's say you have to compare it to, is it more profitable to hold BTC, ETH and stable coins rather than putting it in the GLP? Because if it's more profitable, just hold your assets, it doesn't make sense. And here you can see, uh, if we look at these values, GLP performance, let's look at this one, GLP price comparison. The blue, the light blue one is the GLP with fees. So GLP with fees is outperforming everything else. That's the main number, that's the important number that you have to look at. Uh, the GLP price, as you can see here in, in green, um, without fees, right, that's where it is. Uh, it's compared with an index, with the index of assets. And you see now it's pretty, pretty close. So just simply holding GLP is not um, a lot better, but um, what is a lot better and what is important is ha holding GLP and staking it to earn the Ethereum uh, yield that you can earn, right? Um, here you see the, the traders um, wins and losses. Here you see one big trader that, that, that lost a lot, um, but in general the traders lose more than they win, which is also good for the GLP or in our case, the GLL. Exactly, there is one more competitor that I really want to show you uh, and this is Level Finance. They have been killing it over the past couple of, um, of months. They already processed $20 billion in volume. They generated $26 million in fees, so really, really nice. Um, if we open the app, you can see, you can go to earn, liquidity, and then you see they have different types of, of pools. Um, so you see a senior trench, which is more, um, more, lo more low risk, so has a higher um, amount of stable coins. Then you have mezzanine, which is in the middle, and then you have the junior trench, and they are paying out really, really nice rewards. You have to say, however, that they are also minting level tokens on top of that, um, which in my opinion is not very sustainable and it's not really needed, but they do it anyways. Um, but as you can see here, they are printing out pretty, pretty good numbers. They have ha over 100% APRs on these pools, which is something that we are also aiming at. So the goal for Grizzly Trade is to be one of the highest paying pools out there. And um, yeah, let's see how it goes uh, after the mainnet launch. First of all, we are going to finish up everything so you can test everything on the, on the OP BNB testnet. We're currently it's not working 100% correctly but it will very soon. Most likely if you watch the video, it already is working um, and then launch on mainnet and then we will see how much how much uh, funds or how many funds are going into the GLL uh, and how much utilization do we have, right? How many people are actually trading, which is super exciting to see in the future. Thank you everyone for watching. We will see each other again in the next video. Have a good one. Bye bye.